There's a new policy in New York City where if a police officer stops you, they now have to fill out a card explaining why they did it. So Fox News had a discussion about this, and I want you to look at how quickly they flip the discussion. Check it out. Do police need yet another layer of bureaucracy? Will this help them do their job, which is to protect the public from criminals? Well, I don't see this as a layer of bureaucracy. I, what I see this is, it's a best practice. Many police departments are already doing this across the nation. You know, this is a very important issue regarding the Constitution and the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights, where we should be free from unreasonable search and seizure. We should be secure in our, among our persons, places, and effects. Something this serious warrants documentation. So if I'm stopped and I'm searched and I'm questioned, I think it's just a respectful and, and, and right thing to do according to the Constitution right. of the United States and the Bill of Rights. I should get some documentation. I should know who's stopping me. And I should know why I'm being stopped. And most people don't know the law. And it's an opportunity to educate people in as well. Interesting. So, John, what about that? I mean, I understand why police departments don't like this. I understand why they're frustrated. But I'm an American citizen. If the police pull me over and go through my clothing, don't I have a right to know why? Yes, and it's always been that way, but you're also told that verbally. To fill out this form, it's a tactical nightmare. Hmm. And I think, you know, to be in support of this, I think, Neil, you might be a little out of touch with police work. When you have minutes to search for people who have committed crimes many times. If you stop the wrong person, you're going to spend time to have this officer fill out a form rather than actually continuing looking for the actual perpetrator. It's ridiculous. Neil, I don't think you're making John, crazy we, we points, stop people but, this all the time, the, but this is an attack on police practices that have worked, isn't it? It's I mean, not an attack really on, on police. Amazing. Did you catch it? Tucker Carlson is like, oh, yeah, that doesn't seem like a bad idea. Anyway, let's go to this other guy. And then he says something. He's like, you know, is, that's right. Isn't this an attack on police? This is an attack on police, right? They always manage to flip the conversation. Whoever the real victim is, whoever the persecuted actually are, by the end of a Fox conversation, you bet your bottom dollar, they will flip it. And they will make it seem like... Ah, the police, come on, the establishment, they always mean well, they always stop the right people, they don't need to justify anything they do, there shouldn't be documentation, and aren't you just anti-police if you want them to abide by the Constitution and abide by civil liberties? I like how we're debating topics that were settled probably back when they wrote Magna Carta in 1215. They're like, hmm, if the cops stop you, should they have to document why they're doing it? Or can they just do whatever the fuck they want? We live in a police state and they could stop you for any reason whatsoever, not document it, and continue to fucking harass you. That's the debate they're having! That's the debate they're having! And let's be clear. The whole debate is beyond ridiculous because we shouldn't even have stop and frisk anywhere. It's the most obvious violation of your protection from unreasonable search and seizure in the Fourth Amendment that I've ever seen! And credit to the host, uh, to the uh, guest there who laid that all out. He was like, let me be specific. The Fourth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution protects from unreasonable search and seizure. If this doesn't constitute an unreasonable search and seizure, what the fuck does? The whole idea of stop and frisk is, well, the cop can stop whoever the cop wants for any reason whatsoever and frisk that person. If that's not unreasonable, if that's not an unreasonable search and seizure, I don't know what is. Because what happens? There's... They don't do it, you know, objectively. They don't do it equally. They don't do it fairly. They target specific people. Now, they say, well, we have crime statistics to back up the fact that these are the bad people. But wait a second. Even if you say this group of people commits crime more than anybody else, still 99.9% .9 of that group could not be criminals. So when you stop people, there's a 99% chance you're not going to get anything. And the statistics bear that out. The statistics that we have for this show that when police officers stop white people actually get uh, more drugs and more uh, uh, unlicensed guns and things of that nature compared to when they stop black people. We've gone over the statistics before. I've shown you the studies before on that. So what the police want to do and what they're arguing for here is let us stop whoever the fuck we want. I already disagree with you. You shouldn't be able to do that. But then they also say let us stop whoever we want and when we do that, God forbid you try to keep a, a keep record of it, keep track of it, and have documentation of it. Fuck you, man. You guys are actively in favor of a police state.